just going to run through my gulp setup. I'm working on a project right now and I especially want to use browser sync but usually when I set up gulp uh, I also set up SAS and do some um, concatenation and some asset moving around uh, from my source folder to my distribution folder so uh, because I kind of do this infrequently you know I might do it once on a project and then not touch again for a couple weeks I just want to record the whole process and maybe I'll post this on my website maybe not but uh, it'll just serve as a refresher for the next time I need to do this so I actually snagged this uh, gulp file which is just a JavaScript file uh, from the root of another project I was working on for home to heaven so uh, this should be good to go just a review of the the file um, itself what we're doing here is we're bringing in browser sync and SAS modules and these are just uh, NPM modules that you can get via NPM so of course you need that installed first I'm not going to cover that in this uh, also we have uh, the, these individual tasks sorry uh, the first one is serve and this is how I proxy my 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 dev site into my dev URL and actually let me close this on a Let's see where I'm at here. Yeah, so this is the right gulp file. I'm currently working on a on a theme for a company, a local window company. I uh, just wanted to make sure I wasn't editing the wrong file. So because I copied this over, I'll need to uh, put in my new URL. And yeah, these these paths might change, but I'm gonna roll with that for now and just save this and then flip over here to these instructions that are actually put out by the folks that make gulp.js. Um, the first thing you want to do is install uh, gulp into your project. So as I mentioned before, you do need to have npm installed. So you can check like that, I believe, and I do. Uh, and I think I think it's worth a try to update this. I might have the command wrong. Oh, okay, it looks like everything's up to, eight, up to date. So first command is to actually install gulp. The save dev flag means that you're saving it to your development dependencies. So what will happen is after we install this, we'll get a node modules directory. That's what I expect to happen here and gulp, gulp and all of its dependencies should be in there. And um, sometimes you need to use sudo here, but I, I usually like to try it without, although that never seems to work for me. So uh, now it's um, downloading gulp and all of its dependencies. So that's going to take a moment, assuming it doesn't crash. Uh, so there's no no package.json in this folder. So let me see. Yeah, so I think you have to do actually, before I do that, install init. So this will create the package.json file. Yeah, whatever. Literally do not care what this stuff is uh, for me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, nope, 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 sure. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that looks good. Oh, I got some warnings. Uh, let's see, anything I'm, more, I'm concerned about? Uh, nah. Nope, not concerned. Okay, so we've got gulp installed now. Um, and let me just make sure that my gulp file didn't get messed up when I ran in it. Nope, that still looks good. Sweet, so got a gulp file. Yeah, and now we just run gulp. So uh, this is probably gonna crash and burn because I did not set up my directories. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, so one thing I did show was that I'm using the browser sync module. Um, and SAS, and so I need to install these just like I just installed Gulp. So let's go back here and uh, get browser sync first. And once again, I ran this without sudo and let's see if it goes through. And while that's running, let me take a look and see if I can uh, fix these directories. So this task here is is watching in the SCSS folder uh, for any SCSS file. And then when they change, it's going to run uh, the, the SAS task, which if you look down here, it's just taking those same files 
piping them through SAS and then putting them in the same in the root folder of the theme. So that looks pretty easy to set up. Let me pop back over here to my project and uh, just to make it a little more visual, I'm gonna open it up in Finder. So what it, what it's saying is uh, we're gonna need a new folder called I couldn't remember if it was SAS or SCSS. Let's double check that. It is looking in SCSS. Okay. So in my SCSS folder, SCSS, I want to have, uh, we'll just start with one file, not a new window actually. A new, ah, okay, forget that. Using the GUI is slow when I can just touch uh, style.scss and now you see in my I'm in the uh, scss folder and when I ls I just have my style.scss okay so in this uh, I could just put any kind of uh, valid css or valid sass so uh, just to make sure it doesn't crash let's just do something really crazy this is actually my the fastest way I know to check if my SAS is compiling correctly. I'll just make the page blank effectively, displaying none on the entire uh, HTML element. So there you go. I have that saved. Um, going back to my gulp file. So we're compiling those things, and we're going to put it in a similarly named file. So this might this might actually be dangerous. I don't want to overwrite my uh, current style. Dot SES or CSS that I have. So let me actually go up. Yeah. Right. So this is the, the themes uh, default CSS. So I want to grab this too. And I actually want to put it here because I do not want to lose that. Uh, yeah. So now all this should get compiled into CSS. When I run my gulp task. Okay, so that's that should be set up now. The other thing uh, is the browser sync should proxy to this address. So if I've done this right when I run gulp now from this directory, uh, I should get everything running. Ah, I still have not installed gulp. So let's go back. Well, I'll just do it this way. npm install save dev gulp sass as the package name. So now this is actually going to put the SAS module into my node modules folder. Cool. Okay, so then one thing that has bit me in the past, uh, I mentioned this before, this node modules um, directory. If I list that out, uh, you see it's added this insane amount of uh, directories, which each have their own, you know, crazy files and whatnot inside of them. Uh, I really, I don't see any reason you would want to ever track that in Git. Uh, so I, I have Git on this project, but I think I need to go up to my, uh, yeah, so let me do this. I need to go up to where my Git ignore is and just add that I don't want to track that node modules folder. So let me go back up using the shortcut to project uh, yeah this is where my the root directory of my project lives and I believe in my site folder I have a git ignore already set up yeah which you have to uh, it's a hidden file so sorry I didn't run the LL command okay so if I open this git ignore I just want to go ahead and make an entry oh, it looks like it's already been git ignored in here so let me just make sure when I go back and get back down to my themes folder. Okay, so it looks it looks like it is ignoring the node modules folder. So that's good, and all the rest of this stuff is uh, new stuff, uh, with the exception of this one. This is all new stuff that I want to track. So this looks good. 
Uh, I think what I'll do is just try to remove this one from Git because I don't care about that. Yeah, whatever. That's not a big deal for me now. But I will add these other files and directories to a commit. Push it up to my repo, and so uh, now I'm hoping when I run this, it will actually run this time, and it's loading up my dev site. And remember, I made that rule that said HTML display none, so I can't even see the prototype that I'm working on right now. But I bet if I were to go back to my SAS file and remove that, that just comment it out for now, that it's going to reload. And see, it happened so quickly that it wasn't even visible. But uh, my gulp uh, setup seems to be working properly because you can see when I save this SCSS file over here to turn this property back on, you'll see gulp will recognize the change and then the page will go blank. Just like that, instantaneously. And I, I like setting up browser sync because mostly it gives you this uh, external place where I can access my prototype web page from my smartphone or any other device for that matter that's on my local Wi-Fi network. So super powerful for that. Uh, I was I was developing this site using Chrome's kind of built-in mobile emulator stuff, but I, I've learned not to trust it because, you know, although it, like I can pull up iPhone 4 here, I don't know what that's actually going to look like on an iPhone 4. This is probably a good approximation, but um, when I'm doing responsive design, I like to just have all my devices like an iPad, uh, you know, an iPhone, Android, uh, smartphone handy and turned on. And as long as I go, you know, set up browser sync and point them to this URL, um, when I make a change like this in my CSS, it will, you know, when Gulp updates and it'll push those changes out to all the devices at the same time. So super cool for that. Um, but that's all. That's how I set up a really basic Gulp uh, tasks and Gulp file just to handle uh, mostly browser sync and SAS, which I use to rapidly prototype CSS.